Welcome, my name is iPain Creatures and I very much am excited to present to you today a little bit of a painting I did just to explore, you know, what I had in my mind about what a forest gnome would be. And I think I did this during the month of no November and it's an art challenge that someone put out where you, you just paint gnomes and uh, I remember growing up and getting the book uh, Gnomes uh, from a friend and, and seeing these fantastical little you know gnomey goblin type creatures and uh, just always remembering how they opened a lot of fascination in uh, my mind and I wanted to get on here and talk a little bit about just you know when you take a risk to do art in the beginning there I was taking a lot of risks but I was also doing it very interactive because I was doing it live on my twitch.tv iPaint creature stream and uh, I was mixing colors and talking to a lot of people and, and actually it became a whole activity of you know showing people a little bit of color theory and you know uh, the basis is of when you mix certain colors you get other colors and the primaries and the secondaries and I really didn't go into all the technical sides of that I more went into the exploratory and we started relating it more in how we think and and if you can bring more color into your mind and you know get in a more non-linear state you know more vertical thinking you know where you start to think of all kinds of possibilities and combinations and I think a lot of the metaphors for doing visual art are very important to like how we think about the world you know things like giving us more perspective allowing us to blend uh, colors that nature blends together and they create other colors and new possibilities you know and doing art socially and, and especially doing art like this where I'm painting with acrylics and I'm just experimenting I'm throwing a lot of mixed media like I like to do with uh, you know dark pencil in there and throwing a bit of ink in and most of all I think even for the participants watching and viewing and appreciating what I do it activates you know all the distinct specialized areas of my brain you know that normally don't get tapped into because they're always dealing with you know dues or daily things and, and uh, always challenge myself to be like more logical which I think is built in and we all got to kind of be that way in our lives you know and take it to other levels and so I think art doing socially especially during the pandemic we got to do it more and and if you don't do hands-on and you don't find yourself a painter or a creative writer I'm sure there's a lot of creative things you do and and there's so much opportunity on the web right now through zoom and twitch and YouTube to be able to you know interact with artists and really tap into like you know what it does for their personal you know mental health and well-being more than just making pretty pictures or expanding things and uh, here's another piece I I'm doing on a watercolor block and uh, this is a piece I did for another birthday card and uh, I really don't know what I'm doing in the beginning so I like to see a lot more artists go back to visual art you know like creative writing like when I write a poem some of the greatest poems and the best discoveries in creative expression and writing is I just sit down and I just start typing so I think it's real important just to just get into the process you know stop walking around the lake and saying it's cold or or warm or too hot or too icy just jump in and and see if it'll take you somewhere and uh, you know there was a little bit of a painting hat and that's another video that I did this week that you'll be able to see and I'm gonna talk more about like painting hats and painting other surfaces and painting art that you know can be displayed and represent someone's you know inner joy and inner happiness because there's, there's just a lot of uncertainty and a, a lot of worry and a lot of fear going on during the pandemic uh, just get together and uh, watch these videos you know and and just enjoy the visual delights and things that happen and and if you're an aspiring artist and you want to do more uh, visual art or creative writing expressing you know make sure you just get in the pond you know get in that state where you're more nonlinear thinking and not so judgmental and I'll see you soon peace <laughs>